Oh, ho, 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 ho. what do we have here? Another trigger video. This is the best fluid head you can buy. Oh, well, okay, it's probably not the best fluid head you can buy, but I think it might be the best value fluid head you can buy. What's in the box? I've never done an unboxing. Whoa, what do we got? Packaging! Whoa, YouTube. Didn't expect that. Ugh. Oh, foamy thing. Sick. And the thing that it's supposed to be. What's the point of these videos? Why do you get excited watching other people take stuff out of a box that's not yours? I throw out all my boxes too. I think boxes are dumb. That's gonna trigger some people I know, some friends. We keep everything. There we are. There's the blind. I gotta clean my windows. There's no groundhogs out right now, but lots of birds. And this is how we're gonna get them. This is an iFootage K7 head. I gotta say, it's pretty good weight. I mean, you could definitely club someone to death with this thing, fend off a bear, but I mean, it's really, it's not, it's not super heavy. And this is great. This is the reason that I wanted this one because look at that, you can put that flat on any base, like a slider or something, or even on like a screw in my blind, or you can put it on the bowl on the tripod. So let's see what's in the tripod. And every head needs a set of legs. That's not going the way I thought it would. Okay. Ugh. How are you supposed to do this with one hand? Is this why people have those silly overhead cameras? Ooh. How many unboxings do you need to do before it makes sense to have an overhead rig? There it is. Look at all the packaging, more packaging. That's what we love as wildlife photographers. Oh, let's rip that styrofoam. What do we got? Comes in a pretty nice looking bag I'll never use, probably. I just throw stuff in the truck, I don't use bags. It's a nice bag though. I like the iFooted colors. I like that they're all the same. It's like a peak design strap, but in a bag. Oh, baby, look at that tripod. That's nice, that's, oh, that's pretty nice. You know what else is great? One of the best features of this thing? The legs don't close tighter than that, so you're never gonna break your fingers ever again. But there's the bowl. So this comes out, this whole thing comes out pretty quickly, so you could swap other bowl heads onto it. These are light legs too, and no spreader, which is great. I can't have a spreader in the boat. So no spreader legs for me. So I can just pop it right on there for a bull head, or I can take the head off and use it on other stuff. So I'm gonna do some setups and tests and see how things go. But first I gotta feed a baby. Okay, she's set up, I've got the camera. Balancing is super easy. It turns out these counterbalances are Really easy. Look at that. Look at that one finger. Smooth. Look how smooth we are. We're Santana smooth here. Ooh. Now look what happens. I take my finger off. Look at that. It's not moving an inch. Actually, an inch would be like a lot. It's not even moving at all. Like, I don't even see imperceptible movements. Although, I guess that's what imperceptible means, isn't it? I wouldn't see it. But anyway, that's great. I found, I think there is a tipping point. I thought I found if I like, if I like really reef it forward, and I don't know what on earth I would be shooting there. But yeah, so she, she kind of balances right about there. But this is gonna be great, sitting out in the kayak. That's one of the biggest problems I have filming is I have to keep locking, on, on my cheap head, I have to keep locking it down and unlocking it. So now I don't have to lock this at all. This is just wherever, uh, at least going forward. I'm gonna have to find like a perfect, perfect spot on the forward backwards, but it's 
Pretty nice. Just so smooth, so smooth.